morning everyone how is everyone doing this morning it is first time here hi welcome my name is Carrington now it's first time here hi welcome back if you enjoy anything all night any and all things makeup related sprinkling in some books I've here and there then definitely go ahead hit that subscribe button click the little bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads and let's get into today's exciting video which is we are playing palette with the new Ace Butte collection I am literally so excited. I feel like this took forever to get to me because I was the most excited about this. So excited. I will say I did not get the magnetic lashes. I am just, I'm just not a magnetic, magnetic lashes type of, type of girl. I've tried many. I just, I just can't vibe. So I did get the brush set. I did get the liquid lipsticks with the gloss. And we got the whole entire palette and the game. I am so excited for this. If you guys are like, Karen Tay, where have you been? <sighs> All right, listen. For like the final week of the month, I am literally grinding to get like maximum numbers, maximum payout, all of that at work to make sure I hit like above goals, whatever it is. So that way, like I am getting great bonuses. That's how I buy money buy not buy money this is how I get money to buy the amount of things that I buy and I buy a lot okay all right so that's if you guys are ever wondering towards the end of the month beginning of a month where I'm at that's where I try to film enough it just, it just doesn't always work all right so we have the palette game so this it comes in this little box you open it up like a board like an actual like board game okay all right hear me out like an actual board game which takes a minute to open it clearly ah oh, all right there we go and then on the inside it kind of you have like this little paper it tells you like what's all in it tells you the rules of the game then you have the actual palette which I'm I'm not gonna lie I think this is really beautiful I really do and I love their formula as well so this is just a really nice colorful palette. I think it's beautiful. We will do some swatches of it as well. We'll swatch all the other stuff. And then uh, it has this like get to know your eye. So if you're not really 100% for sure about where what what is considered what, that's a good beginner step. And then you have this notepad. They gave you two little pencils and you have the cards where you play like a matching game. So if you guys are excited to see what palette Opoly I get, what I think of this collection, seeing some swatches, then definitely keep on watching. So we're going to dive on into some swatches of the eyeshadow palette and the lip products. We're going to go ahead and start off with the eyes. So the first shade right here is Vogue. This is definitely more of like a salmon pink. You know, like when stores try to get men to like buy like some pink button down shirts, they call it salmon pink. So that way they'll buy it because men love fishing. So they're salmon and it's got to be good. So that's what that is. Next up is going to be as if you know from like clueless that's what i think of anyways this is like a sun yellow next up is a mullet this looks very like a peach type shade it very much okay i don't want to describe this it's like a very light brown with a peach to it but this just looks plain peach here in the pan it definitely reflects more of that like light brown with a peach in it so this is probably not an accurate swatch of what it actually looks like on the skin moving on is digital pet this is definitely a very deep purple then we have our first shimmer. This is Material Girl. This is definitely like a pinky bronze. So it's bronze, and then as you can tell, it shifts kind of that pink color. Next up is VHS. This is a brown with a green, but also bluish shift. I don't know if you can really tell the blue on camera, but like in the pan, in person, you can see a little bit of the blue. Next row is going to be Walkman. This is a purple with like a champagne type shift. Next up is Slime. This is just, for the most part, very much green. It doesn't, like, you can kind of see a little bit of a gold to it, but I feel like it's not super, it's not super strong. Then we have Macarena. Um, this, I feel like, looks also super light on camera than what it does in person. This is, like, a reddish type brown. I feel like it's a little bit deeper than what is coming up on the camera, but it's definitely a reddish type brown. Next up is Friends. This is bordering towards a lilac type purple but it's still you know just a very nice light purple then we have fanny pack this is that berry type tone 
Next shimmer we have is Acid Wash. So this is like a silver, um, and then it kind of has like some purpley white kind of sparkles in it. On to the next row is neon. This is a neon pink. Then you have right here, this is called Scrunchy. Uh, this one's definitely just very much just like a yellow. Then we have Big Hair. This is definitely like a deeper reddish brown than Macarena, and it leads a little bit more brown, whereas the other shade, Macarena, leads a little bit more red, and this one's deeper. Next up, we have Shoulder Pads. This is just kind of like your standard purple. Then we have Queen. This is a pink with a gold green shift to it. Then we have Boy Band. This is a bluish type shade, um, kind of like a, I don't know, like if you went to the actual sea and looked at the water, this is what I would think it would look like. Then we have this shade right here that's on to the next row. This is Fashion. It's pink and it's got some bluish, purplish types of scent, scents, type of shifts. Then we have Ninja Turtle. I feel like when you look at this in person, it actually looks like a ninja, like a color that a Ninja Turtle would be. I get it, it vibes, it works. Then we're moving on to the shade right here. This is called Grungy. This is definitely like a brown with a slight hint of green to it. Then we have the last shimmer of the palette. This is called Purple Rain. It's purple and kind of has some like light pink shifts to it. And then we have Mixed Tape. This is the darker brown. I feel like this is pretty on par with a brown. I do feel like it has like a tiny bit of a purple shift to it. Like when you look at it, I feel like it looks kind of purple. So it definitely is a deeper brown, but it has like a little bit of like a, like a look like they dropped a couple droppers of purple in. And the very last is called Leg Warmers. This is definitely one of those really bright, bright sky blue type colors. So that was all 24 shades of the eyeshadow palette. Now we have the three liquid lipstick options and we have the gloss. So the first liquid lipstick is called Strawberry Shortcake. So this is definitely like a red, but it's like a pinky, orangey type of red shade. Then we move on to this really electric, bright pink, and that is the shade Polly. Then we have the liquid lipstick that is definitely more of that neutral, and that's going to be Teddy. And then for the gloss, which is kind of like a brownish pink type of color with some sparkles in it, is called Hologram. So here are all the swatches of everything. So then let's dive on into how we play this game. So here is a little pamphlet that tells you how to play. So I have not watched anybody else's review, so couldn't tell you. So basically, you're going to play Palettopoly kind of as if you would have done like the matching game when you were little. Like you got to find like, listen, I had the Barney cards, okay? Don't, don't come for me, but I was little, I had the Barney cards where it was like match BJ with BJ. You got Barney and what is the girl's name? There's Barney, BJ, Barney, BJ, Baby Bop, Baby Bop. So you've got Barney and like Baby Bop, you know how to find those two cards, you know like matching games, okay? Or like a unicorn to a unicorn. That's kind of the point of this. However, here are all of the cards, okay? Like this, like you could tell these two would match, but each of them have different shade names on them. And you would think you have to match the shade with the shade, you don't, you have to match symbol to symbol. And I don't think they ever repeat, they don't ever repeat the symbols don't ever repeat the same shade either. So then you just have to like, you know, shuffle these and then you would just lay them out in a row and match them. Then, here's the part that's weird to me. Um, okay, so if you get a match like this, right, with nothing extra on it, then you take the winning shade card is the one with the highest value. So then you take that and that's gonna be whichever. So you just go down the row on this little on this little paper. That's right here. So you start off, you've got crease, outer corner, lid, inner corner, and lower lash line. So you write down here what the shade was, underneath that what the card value is because you add up the card value score as well. Because if your card is like higher than so much, you have to pick these. If your card is less than so much, then you go for like a more muted lip color. So that's the whole point. Then there's another one. There's another like spin to this is it's like the trophy icon. So if the matching pair contains the trophy icon, which looks like this up in your card, like up there in the center, 
or the corner, then you, the trophy, the trophy one wins no matter how low or high it is. But if you have a card with the card value of two that's matched with the trophy, then the trophy loses and the card with the number two wins. And then if you don't match something, then you just go over and you do whatever. So then it ends when you have all five winning shades and then you can proceed to the challenge. So then you have to add all the values of the cards, get your total score. And this kind of decides your lash style and lip color. And then the winner with the highest total so you can play with more than one person, I guess. Then it says if a tie occurs, cross out the lower lash winning shade and card value from the notepad and repeat the round until the plot, until the tied players have a winning card. So yeah, I guess you can play this with more than one person, but that's how to play. Okay, so I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna shuffle my cards. I'm gonna go ahead, lay them back out behind me, come back, tell you what my cards were and we can help figure out what is going to be what. So I will be right back for that. So I'm back from picking the cards. I saw the excess cards over there. So first up for the first match, this is our crease shade. I found two, is this like a cigarette holder or something? Oh, lip liner, fucking lip liner. All right, so it's a lip liner and we have one that is a trophy. So the trophy card is worth one. The other card is worth three, which is not a two. So that means the first shade for my crease is going to be acid wash and I'm gonna give it a score of one. Next up for the outer corner, I picked two lashes. So we have this right here, that is a card four, and we have this one right here, which is a card three. So the four wins in this one, and that is going to be the shade Slime for the outer corner. So next up, we have these, they look like, I guess, like super shock shadows, I guess is what we're going for. So we have, again, we have the trophy card with a value of one, and it's paired with a value of four. So the trophy one wins again, which is grungy. And that's on the, that's on the lid. All right, next up is going to be for the inner corner. So we have these uh, eyeshadow palettes. We've got digital pet, which is a value of four. And then we have this one right here, which is mullet. And that is the trophy card. So the trophy card is a value of one. This isn't a value of two. So the trophy card wins again. So that is mullet the score of one last and final is going to be the lower lash line we have these uh cute little uh i think these are like their liquid lipsticks because i ordered two of their liquid lipsticks and it looks like this so first off we have shoulder pads which is a card value of three and then we have leg warmers which is a card value of one and it has a trophy on it and so since this is not a two then this one wins and that's leg warmers for lower lash line so this is what we've got so far when you add up all of the cards you've got five six seven eight you have eight that's our total score and that means for okay so lashes it says if less than 10 go for shorter natural lashes i think i'll just use mascara and then for lips we are doing a more muted color which means we could do the liquid lipstick we could do the gloss we could do a combo so Let's go ahead and let's just dive on into this look. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I don't know, but let's go. So let's, let's dive in, see what we've got. So I need to find acid wash. I'm already doomed from the start. Okay, so acid wash is this like little blue-ish right here. Then, We've got slime for the outer corner. We have grungy for the lid. Mullet right here, the inner corner. And the lash line is going to be, wait a minute, what did I pick? Uh, leg warmers. Okay, all right. RIP in peace. Okay, so we're gonna start off with that acid wash shade. I'm just gonna try to pick it up as best as I can. And, oh man, oh boy. I think I'm doomed, oof. 
This is rough. Oof. Do I get a redo? <laughs> oh, uh, okay. We're just going to try to make this work as best as we can. Maybe, maybe we're going to, you know, discover something that we like. We've never tried before. Or we might just like recreate an 80s or 70s look and set in the mirror and like question any and all life choices that you might have. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Why? Why? I feel like everybody else that I've like, because like on, no, it's not TikTok. It's uh, Instagram. They like showed people like pulling their cards and at this point I am convinced. I am convinced they cheated. They had to have cheated. Because there's no way. They all got really good eye looks out of this. I think we need Murray to come and testify if they were honest about their card choices. Okay. For outer corner, we're going into another shimmer shade. Maybe this is like a reverse eye look, where like what you would normally put, where you would normally put glitter or like sparkles. You're just actually going to put where you would normally put mattes. I don't know, you guys. Oh, you guys. This is gonna go terribly. I, I promise you, I'm taking this off before I go anywhere. Whoa. You know, I like games when I win, right? Uh, I took a, what, did I, what was it called? Strength Finders. My whole entire job like took Strength Finders and like teens. So one of my top um, five, my actual top five was like competition. Like I like, Playing games, like competing in games, stuff like that. Okay, I feel like the glitter is starting to fall all over my face and in my eyes. It has little glitter specks in it. All right, what's next? Okay, the lid we're going into is is grungy. Right here. I don't think there's any coming back from this. We are doomed. It's fine, it's fine. This is going fine, it's fine. It's just, it's fine. Nobody panic, we are fine. Holy shit. The other stuff is like lash line, inner corner. I'm gonna go, just, I don't know. I'm just gonna go, just do the rest of my face off of camera. So we can come back, do the lower lash line, and then just do the lips. Okay, so now we're back to do the lower lash line and inner corner. Lower lash right, line right here is going to be a leg warmer. And we're going to smoke that out. You guys. Oh my gosh. I literally cannot believe. Okay. Inner corner is mullet. So it's this light shade right here. Oh boy. What? What a look. I thought I was supposed to bring the fun back. Okay, the game part was fun. This eye look is not.
Okay, all right. My brows aren't staying up with this one brow gel. I'm not, I'm not sure what to do. Okay, so thankfully, thankfully, we scored low enough that we get to do a nude lip option. It says you could either use like one or the other. I'm just gonna do both, we're gonna see. So first up we have the liquid lipstick in the shade Teddy. Hmm. You know, I'm not really into nudes a whole lot. I think the hoodie would be like an okay nude for me once in a great while not a lot but once in a while and then we'll take hologram which is the lip gloss and slay that mm. it actually feels comfortable Whew. okay um this is the completed look Yeah, okay. Um, I hate it. I hate it. I'm thousand percent. Just, I hate it. I like the lip though. I think the lip looks really good. I think they paired nicely together. I like the way it looks. Here's the thing I'm going to say about this. I did not care for the look that was randomly selected. For me, that was not fun. So, I, but here's what I, I am also going to say, and that is I still love their formula. They have a fantastic formula. I had talked about this in like top five indie brands you should check out. I mentioned Ace Beauté. Whenever I talked about like top five palettes or 10 palettes, no, it's 10, that if I lost the rest of my, the whole entire rest of my makeup collection, what palette would I keep? And again, I mentioned Ace Beauté. It was there wildlife it was like the one that's like greens grungy green stuff like that i would have kept that one like if i had lost everything their formula is really really good i do appreciate their formula so even though like we've got like shimmer up in the crease and outer corner i still feel like it showed up really nicely the mattes are super pigmented blendable easy to build easy to like build go in with whatever the case buff out they're really it's a really good formula i would say i'm glad i don't have to go to work because I just came home from work, because I would not go in with this. I would not. But there are a ton of looks that I would come up with with this palette. And again, their formula, it's incredible. It's a really good palette. It's a really good formula. So I would 10 out of 10 recommend the palette. I just am nervous about the playing the game part. I would say don't play the game if you have to be somewhere important, unless you're willing to take that risk. Um, but if not, then yeah, then I would say definitely play around with it. See what looks you get, whatever the case might be. As for the brushes, I think they're very nice. They are very soft. Um, they picked up the product nicely, blended out the product nicely. I think those are, those are decent brushes. Here's what I'm going to say about brushes. Just like in general, I personally don't mind really cheap synthetic brushes. I think they all work pretty nicely. I don't feel like one synthetic brush is better than another. I think they all do great, so I'm willing to spend like a cheap price for some synthetic brushes. Where I will spend the most money though is on those refer brushes. Those brushes are nice and they're real hair and everything, but boy, do I like those. I think those are nice. The lip products, I like this, I like this lipstick right here. I think that's cute. Put the gloss over it. There are two other options, so I'm gonna try them out on the lids, the lids, the lips, just to see how I like it. I have a feeling I'm probably not going to be super in love with these. Oh yeah, this is bright. Holy shnikes. Okay. Hmm. Okay. If you guys know me and have been here for a while, you will know I love more grunge dark lip options. This one is, this one's ter this is terrifying me. This is terrifying. Okay, next. <laughs> this is that reddish one. This is, I'm just going sloppy at this point. I'm literally going to take this off as soon as the video is over. Ooh. You know what? I don't hate this red. 
Let me double check. So that's like a very orangish, kind of a red, orange, pinky kind of a red. I don't hate it, but my lips better be, or like my uh, eye look better be super, super neutral. The face like super, super like neutral before I would wear this. So I'm not gonna wear it all that often, but I do really like the nude and the gloss. I will wear those. All right, so that is it for today's video. Let me know if you've picked these up. Let me know if you played Palettopoly. How did your look come out? Because mine is not. It's not. Don't forget to go and follow me over on Instagram. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.